Hey, 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 this your girl Jazz, back for another video. Well, I'm going to be doing a mukbang with my biscuit rolls. I have four biscuit rolls, and they are small, so I'm going to show you what it looked like. Look like this. This is the biscuit, and inside the roll, it is eggs and sausage. I saw that in um, Dollar General, and I was just looking at the um, store. They had remodeled the store and um, made it different, and now they have produce in the store. So they have apples, they have bananas, they have um, these egg roll. Um, biscuit rolls and they have um these drinks in there um they have onions bear pepper they have um they have salad in there they have a lot of stuff in there um it's it looks way better it looks way bigger in there they done changed the um aisles they changed the aisles in there. Um, and, and I want to tell you another thing about my vehicle um, while I eat my mukbang. While I do my mukbang. So, if I mess up on this video, please don't judge me. Don't judge me. So, um, when I... Went across the bridge. My uh, my vehicle was working just fine. Okay, so it was riding all smooth and everything. And then when I got to where I was going, about two hours since um. Two hours where I was going. It started making noises. Now I can't stand when your car don't let you know what's going on or what's going to happen. You know, I, I don't like that. Well, we have to deal with it anyways because that's how they make cars. So, I'm just cruising down the street for extra two hours after, because it took me 25 minutes to get to where I was, where I was going. Um, two hours into it, I heard a ticking noise, like, tick, 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 tick. It was really, 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 really low. So I ain't think nothing of it. I ain't think it's going to be any problems. I thought it was just something. Maybe I need to put some um, oil in the car or transmission fluid. I thought it was that. So I checked all that after I heard that noise. And then it wasn't that. Then, um, when I shut the hood of the car, I shut the hood, and crank out the car, got ready to, I put my car in reverse, got ready to back out, and it said, boom! So I'm looking like, what the heck was that? So... Then it started riding funny. It started riding funny. And I'm looking all like, why is it riding like that? Noise and stuff. Then I um, drove the car. Then I drove the vehicle all the way to AutoZone to ask them, do they know what that noise is? 
do I need to get um oil for the car? How about my bar? If you're looking at that, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below and subscribe. So um. They said that they said that it was my spark plug. One of my spark plugs came out, and it made all the. I was like, it made all that noise. You making all that noise for that? I'm like, yeah. You can't drive too far with the car like that, but you can drive it to the shop. So I, I said, okay. I drove to, um, I was driving for, after that, I drove for 10 more minutes. 10 more minutes, and I got to the shop. He said he was going to fix it. Got to wait till the car cool down, which I already knew that. Wait till the car um, cool down so he can fix it. Okay. About an hour and a half, he fixed he fixed that problem with just one spot plug came out. Okay, then I wrote for another thirty minutes after that. I went to a different store. Then I um set up someone's house. For like maybe two hours, I sat down. No, yeah, two hours. Then I'm gonna be light, don't I? Then I got ready to leave, cook out the car. Well, it's right and good for another. Forty-five minutes. Not forty-five minutes. When I got on the bridge, okay, on the bridge, and the bridge take like ten minutes. Ten minutes into the bridge, cause I had got over the hump. Right, like uh, um, a half mile after the hump, it shut off. I'm like, what's wrong with the car? Car just fixed it. I fixed it. You know. So I sat down. I said, let me let the car cool off. Maybe, maybe the um. Maybe it ran out of water. Okay. Let the car cool off for another two hours. Okay. Then, pour some water in there. Quick up the car. The car made it to the gas station. Where it shut off again. So I'm like, the heck? Okay, then I grab my um, I open the hood. I grab my um, what you call that um, my jumper cables. I put it while my hood was up. I'm gonna jump a cable on top of the hood so people know that I need a jump. Okay. So it's a um, Puerto Rican family uh, pulled up 
and asked me, do I need some help? What do uh, what do I need help with? I said I needed uh, um, I said I needed to jump. I look okay. Okay, they jumped off the car. Didn't crank. It turned over, but it didn't crank. Man, he's like, that don't sound like your your battery. You said, do I have gas? I said, yes, I have gas. You said, do you have um oil and transmission in here? I said, yes. So when he poured the water that I had in the car, I wish I have jugs in the car full of water. And um, I gave him that. He poured it in there. Um, Did he notice the water was running from under my car to the side? Then he looked under my car. He said, your car is leaking water. A lot of water. Then he, um, he told me that he was going to check it for me and see where it's coming from. And see if he can fix it. Yeah. He went out there and said there was um a freeze plug. It's a freeze plug. It had a um big hole in it. That's why the water was running out like that. So I called the tow people so they can bring it to my house, bring my vehicle to my house. Bought the vehicle to my house. I got it. I got the freeze plug fixed. First I got my spark plug fixed. Then I got my freeze plug fixed. Then. They told me that I need a thermostat. I bought the thermostat. Okay. And then after I did all that. I'll start running again.